So this video is going to be about uh, how the deluge uh, works in song mode. So right now we're looking at a track. I set it to my EMX, so it's just a kick drum. And I'm going to press song button here. And what that does is flattens everything to one track here. So that's the drums. If I want to edit it, just press it again. Let's go back into song mode. So we're going to create a new track here. So I'm going to just press in this blank space down here anywhere. That's going to open up a new track. So I'm going to go MIDI and then I'm going to switch it to a piano. And now I'm just going to enter in some notes. Actually, I'm going to turn off scale. Okay, so there's some notes I just put in. What I want to do is repeat that. So I'm just going to show you a little trick here. Shift and then turn this knob all the way until we reach the entire pattern here. And then I'm going to press Shift and then press the knob down. And now I see it two times. So if I want to like change one of the notes, there we go. Okay, so I have that going on. Let's go in here. Uh, what we're going to do now is copy this down here. What this is going to do, you, you see this is a section. So it's colored blue right now. I just created a new section when I added a new track, and that's a new color there. So this is the next section. This means it's, it's like mute buttons. So that's going to play. If I press this, it'll just unmute this one and then mute both of those. So that's how it switches patterns. Um, let's copy over that as well. Okay, so now we have this is exactly the same here. So what I'm going to do is uh, transpose the notes. So if you press the knob down and turn it, that changes the octaves. Okay, um, and I did want to mention if we're in scale mode, um, shift and, or actually shifting the or transposing the notes um, will react differently. Um, so I'm I make sure the scale button is turned off in this instance because I'm going to press shift and then press the knob down and turn it, and that will actually raise or lower the notes. So I'll just show you what that's like. So let's say I like that and then I can actually switch back and forth now we can hear a difference okay um, let's do another copy so I just again pressed the track press the new space that I want it to go to and there's our new color um, so now what I can do, let's just do another change actually. I'm just going to make it different notes. Alright, now we're actually listening to this one because that was what was triggered. Um, so I'm going to press down here and now we're going to listen to what this will be. Okay. You know what I want to do? Let's uh, take out, let's take out these drums. Um, I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, I'm gonna take out these drums for this part. So just so you can see, I just held down the track, press delete, and that deletes the track. So um, if you want to move a track up or down, you just hold down the track anywhere along here, and then move the knobs. So right now I want this to play uh, this section then this section, and then this section. Um, I want to actually you know, just play this real quick. Let's say I want to play that, what, three times. 
Okay, so I hold this down. Right now it says infi. That means it's infinite loop. So you just turn it, let's say, uh, three times. So after three times, it's going to count down, and then it's going to go to the next track, and then let's make that repeat just one time, for example. And then this one, we'll just leave an infinite loop. Um, as of right now, it doesn't have a means to loop from there, but you can just duplicate tracks. And like if I wanted the same thing down here in the next part, so I would just do the same thing here as we have been doing. And then there's a new, now the color, okay, when we just added something, it always changes to the next color. We don't want it to be the next color, so I'm going to press shift and tap this until it's the new color. There we go. So there's a new section. So you can reassign any of these to a new section just by pressing shift and then scrolling through the different colors. And each color is a different pattern. Or section, rather. Let's start from up here. So that's pretty cool. Let's say I want this to loop instead of counting down. Just press play, tap the knob, and it turns off. So it just is going to loop that part. So if we want, what, what we can do while we're pressing play, I can turn this knob, change the count. So as it's going, you can actually do that. Or just manually switch. 